All right, so in this video, we're gonna be going ahead and fixing the toe out issue with the Red Cat Lowriders. Let's get into it. So with the Red Cat Lowriders, there is a bit of a toe issue with the suspension's geometry in the front. Uh, essentially what happened was, is when they first came out with the 64, there was a big toe-in issue. And as the suspension would lift up, the geometry of the suspension would pull the wheels to toe in an extreme amount on full lift and it was almost impossible to drive the car. The wheels were basically, you know, bow-legged pointed at each other, it was terrible. So what they did was they made a V2 kit, which more or less corrected that issue for the most part. They, they fixed the geometry somewhat, and they designed a bit of toe out inside the knuckle. So instead of having a toe in problem, at the beginning, when the car is low to the ground, it's going to have a slight bit of toe out and as the suspension goes up and pulls a little bit of toe in because it's toe out at the low point it sort of keeps it from being completely bull-legged uh, when driving on full lift so there's a there's an actually an easy way to fix that issue it basically will give a little bit more uh, toe in at the low point and keep when the car is all the way flat and it, because the geometry will be more in line with the upper and lower links, it's gonna prevent it from pulling toe in as the suspension goes up. So the, 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 the wheels will be basically pointed straight on, uh, on when it's down and they'll keep that straightness as they go up. When it comes to uh, suspension and, and the steering geometry of the, the, pull, the, the steering link there, you need to really keep the radius of the of the steering link in line with the upper and lower links. If it's at all off, it's gonna either pull toe out or toe in. What we need to do to make this fix is we need to change the mounting position for where the ball meets the link here. Red Cat did a very good job on redesigning the link. The only problem is, is this mounting point here is too high. So we need to lower this mounting point to make the steering link line up at the furthest point on, on, its, on its arc. So that this mounting point is the furthest outwards, which is gonna give us more toe in. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the way that I go ahead and do that is we have a few different options. These are the mounting point on the knuckle. Is the ball nut there. Sorry if it's not in focus. Try and get that to focus a little bit. There we go. So we have these screwed into the steering knuckle and the steering link mounts on this. Now the problem is we need to move this mounting point down. So the way that we're gonna do that is with a spacer. Now, on a lot of my cars, you're gonna see me using a, a colored washer like this. And these little washers, basically you just pop them on here. It gives you the three millimeter spacing. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a three millimeter spacing. And yeah, that gives us that there. And this is if you want to add a little bit of color. The easiest way to do it is to just get a locking nut for uh, M2.5. And I'll show you that right here. Oops. All right, so the locking nut. The locking nut with an M2 point, uh, sorry, the ball nut with the M2.5. Lock nut right there, screws on perfectly. 
and gives us the three millimeter spacing that we need. So you can actually use, you know, anything that you want to really space that out. Our target is three millimeters. The reason it's three millimeters is because we need to have enough thread inside here in order to make the mounting connection. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these onto the car and show you how that corrects the toe. First, we're gonna take a little look at the toe issue in and of itself. So as you see here, the wheels are not pointed straight, they're more or less pointed outwards. And this is, you know, if you look on this side, it's pointed outwards, and you look on this side, it's also, oh, sorry, this didn't turn there. <laughs> so on this side, it's pointing outwards, and as you see there, it's not pointed straight, it's sort of pointed, you know, towed out. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and install these uh, ball heads with the 2.5 millimeter nut on them, which is gonna correct the toe. And you'll see that we have the Lolo Boys Tuck C-Hubs on here. So we're gonna you're gonna see how it corrects it even when you have the Tuck C-Hubs on there. All right, so the easy way that I go ahead and get these off because they are a pain in the butt and getting them back on is also a pain in the butt. There we go. All right, so once you get that off, you can have the bonnet right there. This is where this little this little wrench comes in handy. Go ahead and pop that on there and unscrew. Alright, so now what we're gonna go ahead and do is gonna go ahead and put our modified modify our piece with a spacer in it, screw that in as much as we can by our fingers. And the last little bit with the rim. And we are golden. Nice and tight. And you want to go ahead and pop that back on, which uh, hurt the fingers sometimes. Go ahead and put our hex and wheel back on. And do the same to the other side. Pop that still link back on. Booyah. And there we have it. So as you can see, I'm just gonna get the wheel straight up. As you can see, the wheel is now pointed straight. Now it's hard to see here, but straight and we got that wheel straight so toe fixed on both uh, standard hubs and the Monte Carlo and watch how the wheel stays as it goes up and there you have it with that, I mean, it's a quick and easy fix, but it does a, a significant job on just correcting the toe issues that uh, that we, we essentially have with the low riders from Red Cat. Easy, quick fix. And uh, yeah, so I hope that's uh, been helpful. With that, I'll catch you in the next one.